We're going to be looking at some ergonomics of documentation through the, through the microscope. We're going to look at this in real time, first of all, and then take the procedure apart in small steps. So we're trying to get uh, a picture of this leukoplakia on, the, on a patient's palate. And this is the picture, uh, the process in real time as we do this. And during this period of time, Joy will have taken four pictures and also compared an earlier picture uh, from three weeks ago uh, on the same patient. So during this whole process, uh, Joy is actually taking the pictures and they are going into the record. And it's done. And she takes the mirror and puts it away. So now we're going to actually look at this process in detail. And you'll notice some things that um, maybe you didn't notice in just observing it. The first thing to notice is I'm not focusing by moving the microscope. I'm simply lifting the back of the chair up using my knees and obtaining fine focus that way. Good documentation requires exacting and precise focusing. If you are unable to do this, you will become very frustrated in your photography, and your photography will be inconsistent and take you way too long. Another factor in getting really good photography is the placement of the suction device. You'll notice here that Joy has placed the suction device to defog the mirror uh, but has kept it out of the field of view uh, of the actual picture so it is not blocking anything. This is more noticeable with the smaller mirror. Notice how Joy has positioned the suction precisely in the right spot to defog the mirror and allow me to get very precise focus. If I'm fighting fogging of the mirror all the time, then taking these photographs is going to take me a lot more time and I'm going to get unpredictable results. So back to our case with the larger mirror, you can see that Joy has the suction off to the right side of the mirror. I am holding the mirror and adjusting the light levels and we want to get a picture of this at various magnifications. Here you can see she's controlling the fogging and because she can see through the assistant scope she knows the precise place to place the suction tip to minimize the fogging. And here I'm able to zoom in, focus with my knees, and Joy can get a great picture for me. So it's actually the ergonomics of the doctor and the assistant that allows you to get really great pictures predictably and let you have the kind of documentation that you want. Joy's support with her chair is very important in this because without that elbow support, she can't precisely position the suction where she needs to. She's able to hold this position because she has that support on her armrest and she is muscularly relaxed, relaxed and able to hold that position without having to constantly look at it. From another angle, starting right from the beginning, she takes the, the intraoral mirror. This is in slow motion so you can see exactly what she's doing with her hands. Again, she's upright, completely comfortable. She takes the suction in her left hand, looks down, positions it correctly, and now she's ready to take pictures. She grabs the mouse, and you can see what she's doing with her eyes. Notice her arm. It's completely relaxed. Looking at her eyes, she's able to look through the microscope and at the monitor to acquire the picture. Notice where her right hand is on the mouse, ready to take a picture. 
So the ergonomic placement of the monitor is very important. If she has to turn her head, then this gets much, much more difficult. And there's, she just took one picture, and now she's going to take a whole series of pictures here. And you want to make this as effortless as you possibly can. Again, notice her eyes. She looks up, she looks down. I'm telling her when I want the picture taken, but she's actually determining that by the focus, by the fine focus that she can see through the scope. There's another picture that she took, and now she's going to bring up a picture that we took several weeks ago of the same patient, and we're going to be able to compare them while we work contemporaneously. That's from two weeks ago, and now we have the picture that we took the series of pictures that we took today. And that's the last one today. And we're done. This whole procedure, if you remember from the beginning of the video, um, how long that took to take four pictures and compare with a picture taken several weeks ago. Let's do it from the beginning again in real time. Now you should be noticing these things that maybe you didn't notice the first time. You'll notice how easy this is, how effortless this is because of the ergonomics. So taking great pictures has nothing to do with the camera, the settings, the light. Most people can't get good pictures because ergonomically they're not set up properly to, to do this without a great deal of effort. And we're done.